Philadelphia police are searching for a gunman after a man is shot and killed in Maniong. Well, Eyewitness News reporter Jane Carabello is live at the scene with what officials say is unusual about this case. Good morning, Jan. Jim and Janelle, good morning. What's unusual in just a minute? But first, police have not yet identified the shooting victim here, have not given us his name or his age, but they do believe that the shooting victim lived at the home where all of this violence unfolded last night. Live here at the scene this morning, you can see police remain here in Maniunk. I was able to speak with this victim's next door neighbor who says he didn't really know the victim. The victim apparently kept to himself. I also spoke with another neighbor who recalled the terrifying moments last night. He had his wife and kids get away from the windows when he heard all the gunshots. He says there was a lot of young children in this area who live on this block and this violence has families shaken this morning. This was an especially violent attack. Police say someone or some group of people fired on this victim more than 30 times and killed him execution style. And because of that, police do believe this victim was targeted. Now, the violence broke out here on the 300 block of DuPont Street in Maniung just after 8 o'clock last night. Police got multiple 911 calls about shots fired. And when they arrived, they found the garage here filled with smoke. After the fire department cleared that smoke, investigators then found a man dead inside of an SUV. Police found more than 30 spent shell casings at this scene on the street, the sidewalk and inside of the garage there. Dozens of bullets pierced the SUV's driver's side and window. Now, police have not yet released a motive for this attack, but crime scene investigators have documented the scene and detectives have located surveillance cameras nearby. This neighborhood in the city is very, very quiet. It's very rare that we have any shooting incidents, so it's very unusual. But what's also unusual is the fact that over 30 shots were fired, and it appears that the spent shell casings are from a rifle. So it appears that these are actual rifle rounds. Now, no weapons have been recovered at this point. Police are now interviewing a number of eyewitnesses. They believe the suspects or suspects were seen leaving this scene, speeding away in a vehicle. But at this point, no good suspect description or vehicle description. Anyone with information is asked to call police. We are live in Maniunk this morning. Jan Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jim and Janelle, back into you. Thank you, Jan.